So you pull up to an intersection that's in flash, and now you have to troubleshoot it. Well, let me take you through the process of troubleshooting this intersection. First thing you want to do is check your conflict monitor. This will show you the fault of the intersection, but not necessarily the reason behind it going into flash. This conflict monitor, you can go to menu, and then go to view logs. And we can go look at the previous fails. A lot of those are gonna be that skip yellow clearance. Now we're looking at a red fail on one and nine. Looks like it was pressed reset a little too many times, but the city was working on it beforehand. I'm gonna show you the next step. And we can look at the voltage of the intersection while the failure happened. And here we go. Scroll over phase one, you would only have the green from anyways and nine where the overlap is, where you should have 120 volts at, on red, is showing five. So that red was not being picked up by the conflict monitor, causing it to go into a red fell. Now we need to see if this problem is field related or something inside of the cabinet. And what we can do is tie an LED to the proper phase as having the issue. And if the failure keeps happening, then we know it's something in the cabinet most likely and not a bad cable or a bad LED out in the field. Next step would be to verify that it's not a controller issue. And if this controller is held on run on stop time, then it will keep cycling through as the intersections into failure. And I can look down here and I can see on my load cell for that phase and the one with the issue that it is providing an output for this channel and it should be making the LEDs in the field light up. And I know it's not an issue between the controller or the load switches because it is cycling properly. But I've checked on that, verified it's not the controller, verified it's not something in the field. The only other things that I could see being an issue would be either be the conflict monitor or a burnt up cable or something on the backboard that could be the issue. But what we're gonna try today gonna replace this conflict monitor, hit it out of flash, and see if it stays out of flash for more than five minutes. All right, so let's go ahead and remove this conflict monitor and install a new one. All right, and there we go. The old conflict monitor that was already in this cabinet that we installed a couple months ago is out. We have a new one in. It's running the intersection just fine. We'll stay here and watch it for a little while. Make sure it doesn't go back into flash. But so far that looks to be like it was our issue and uh this intersection is up and running like it should be good deal and there you go you got your first intersection out of flash congratulations but we can't leave just yet we still have to monitor the traffic make sure it doesn't go back into flash anytime soon so we do got to stay here for 10 15 minutes <sighs> oh man what time is it oh miss supper again but looks like the intersection is out of flash still and it's working like it should, so we can call it a day and go home. And I hope y'all enjoyed the video.